Hello, welcome to Creator Classes. I am Gurmeet Singh. In this lecture, we will cover the volume and surface area of sphere and hemisphere. Note that this lecture is part of the series on volume and surface area of various 3D solid. So let's begin the video. So first of all, let's see what is the sphere. Are you able to observe this is somewhat resembling a circle? But the circle is a 2D shape and a sphere is a 3D shape. Basically, a sphere that is the solid shape is formed by rotating a circle about the axis. Basically, the circle is in the 2D form and sphere is in the 3D form. Moreover, in the circle, the center is equidistant from all the points on the boundary of the circle, that is all the points on the circumference of the circle. And in the sphere, the center of the sphere is also equidistant from all the point on the surface of the sphere. Got it? Both are same, just the circle is in the 2D form and sphere is in the 3D form. Moving further, let's discuss about the dimensions of the sphere. The sphere is having only one dimension that is the radius which is denoted as small r. As we have discussed, the sphere center is at equidistance from all the points on the surface of the sphere and this distance is the radius. That is, the center is equidistant from all the points on the surface of the sphere, that is the radius of the sphere. So we got the sphere is having only one dimension, that is the radius. But if we talk about the height of the sphere, that is this distance, this will be the height of the sphere or we can say the diameter of the sphere which will be further equal to twice the radius okay diameter is twice the radius so we can say height of the sphere is twice the radius so basically there is no height for the sphere just only the radius is there but if the question framer asks for the height of the sphere then it is basically the diameter of the sphere which is twice the radius okay got the fundamental moving further Let's see what are the surface component of the sphere. On observing, we found that sphere is having only one surface component that is the curved surface. The sphere is not having any flat surface. Okay, the component of the sphere is only one component that is the curved surface. We got the sphere is having only one dimension that is a radius and sphere is having only one component of the surface that is only the curved surface. Moving further, let's see the surface area of the sphere. Basically, for calculating the surface area and the volume of the sphere, we have to do some activity. Let's see the activity for the surface area of the sphere. Basically, in this activity, we have to find the surface area of the sphere. And what is surface area? Surface area is the area of the complete surface of a 3D component. Okay, here our 3D component is the sphere. So basically we have to calculate the total surface of this sphere. So how to do so? For that we will take a thread and we will wrap this thread completely around the sphere without any gap. Okay, what we have done? We have wrapped this thread completely over the sphere without any gap. Okay, now can we say the area enclosed by this thread will be equal to the surface area of the sphere okay we can say so this thread is completely wrapped around the sphere so let's calculate the area enclosed by this thread but how to do so what will be the standard means if we just take out the thread and measure the area enclosed by this thread nothing will happen basically we need the formula of the surface area of the sphere basically we need some standard for that we will take a blank circle and we will measure the area of the surface enclosed by this thread with respect to the circle. Let's see what I am talking about. Let's take a circle of radius r. The radius of the circle is equal to the radius of the sphere. We are doing so so that we can match r with r and we can reach up to some formula. Okay? Let's take out the thread and let's paste this thread over this circle. Some of the thread has been used and majority of the thread is on the sphere. Okay? Let's take one more circle and let's repeat this activity. Again, some thread is left on the sphere. Let's keep on repeating this activity until our complete thread on the sphere is over. Okay? So finally concluding, the observation that we got from this activity is that it took total 4 circles to accommodate the complete thread of the sphere. 
so we can say the surface area of the sphere which is equal to the area enclosed by this thread is equal to area of all these four circles okay we can say so because the thread used to completely wrap this sphere is completely used by these four circles okay so we can say the surface area of the sphere is equal to area of these four circles and we know what is the area of the circle it is pi r square and area of four circles will be equal to 4 pi r square got it this is the formula of the surface area of the sphere we have done a small activity to find the surface area of the sphere so you should understand that the surface area of a sphere is 4 times pi r square that is 4 times the area of the circle let's move further and let's see the volume of the sphere again for the volume of the sphere we will do a small activity the same activity we have done while calculating the volume of the cone let's see what is the activity here we will take a cone and a sphere of radius r unit here radius of the cone and radius of the sphere are equal that is r unit further the height of this cone that we have taken is equal to height of this sphere that is height will be equal to twice the radius okay the same fundamental we have seen in the starting of the lecture further we have to calculate the volume of this sphere that is the space enclosed by this sphere for that we will fill the sphere completely with the water with the help of this cone okay and then we will check how much water this sphere can accumulate let's try to fill the sphere with this cone so it took exactly two cones to fill this sphere completely it means that the volume of the sphere is equal to twice the volume of the cone why because it took exactly two cones full of water to fill our sphere up to the complete top point so we got volume of the sphere is equal to twice the volume of the cone and we know volume of the cone is one third of pi r square h and here h that is the height of the cone is equal to 2r that we have assumed in the starting so finally we got volume of the sphere as 4 by 3 pi r cube that is the volume of the sphere got it so we have done two activities from the first activity we have got the surface area of the sphere as 4 pi r square and from the second activity we have got the volume of the sphere as 4 by 3 pi r cube okay got it moving further let's take the hemisphere what is hemisphere hemisphere is basically the half portion of the sphere if we divide this sphere into two equal portion we got two hemisphere this portion is the hemisphere and let's see the surface area and the volume of this hemisphere firstly let's see the volume just now we have calculated the volume of the sphere as 4 by 3 pi r cube so the volume of the hemisphere will be half of the volume of the sphere which will be equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube okay very simple we have got the volume of the hemisphere as 2 by 3 pi r cube now let's see the surface area of this hemisphere the surface area of the hemisphere will not be half of the surface area of the complete sphere why let's see let's take the hemisphere if you observe the hemisphere is having two surface component one that is the curve portion that is the half of the sphere and the second is the face of this hemisphere that is a circular face so hemisphere is having two component one is the circle and the second is the curve portion so for calculating the surface area of this hemisphere we have to calculate the surface area of both of this component so let's see the surface area of this circular face which will be equal to pi r square okay we know area of a circle is pi r square so the surface area of this circle will be pi r square further what will be the surface area of this curve portion it will be equal to half of the surface area of the complete sphere okay how we have got the hemisphere we have divided the sphere into two equal component so the surface area of the curve portion will be equal to half of the surface area of the sphere and we know the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square so we got the surface area of the curve portion will be 4 pi r square upon 2 that is 2 pi r square got it 
so let's find the total surface area of the hemisphere which will be equal to 2 pi r square plus pi r square that is 3 pi r square got the fundamental we have calculated the surface area of the hemisphere as 3 pi r square and we have calculated the volume of the hemisphere as 2 by 3 pi r cube so that's for this video thank you very much and best of luck for the exam you are preparing for note that this is the series on volume and surface area of various 3d solid so best of luck and have a great day bye for now